Oh yeah. So today we have to do some mining. Why is this set so high? That's um odd. And why am I not dead? Oh, because it's not full. Great. I must have kept raising that uh, uh, raising that pressure because it kept giving me less and less fuel, uh, less and less oxygen. But here we go. This is the mining episode. Um. Oxygen critical. How critical is oxygen? It's pretty critical for life. Ha ha ha! That was so funny. Listen to me laugh. Okay. These plants are not doing as good as a job as the ferns were to converting oxygen. Uh, did I already take the seed? Yes, I already took the seed. So, we're going to go out mining. Oh uh, yeah, I have to fix this. I remember that now. There we go, because that's glitched. And we just need iron, so we're going to target iron. Unless it gets our asses into Agira. We still don't have a renewable, renewable, a renewable uh, source of water. Uh, okay, we'll put the the mitt on. And the confusion to that is hell mitt, mitt, ha ha ha. Yeah, it's stupid, I know, but what do you expect? Light on. There we go. So now, whoop. Light you don't on. need to shut the light off. I don't know why I shut the light off, because I'm a newt. Jetpack on. Here we go. Into the sky. There we go. <clears throat> okay, let's search for iron. Uh, is that iron? I saw a pop in for iron right there. Yeah, yes, in there's iron. Oh! Visual glitches also saves this game. Some of the jankiness actually saves this game. It's the same with uh, with uh, Space Engineers. The thing that saves Space Engineers is some of its jankiness. And, uh... We don't need silicon right now. We just need... So, oh yeah, somebody asked me um, what I was doing when I'm swinging my uh, my drill around. If you swing the drill around, see, there's iron right there, and it will be like within a short, um, a, a small degree of separation about where you're pointing. Now, I also try to know, smooth the edges so that I can walk out and I don't need to use my um, my uh, propellant. This is still this, the first uh, tank of propellant since I started the game. I use it very, very sparingly. I don't fly around a whole lot. <clears throat> I am very much a converse, com conversationalist. Confus... Uh, on. I save things um, while playing games. I don't overuse... Um, uh, is this the bedrock right here? Why can't I break this down? Is that a ridge? Is there ridges under the map? I can't break that. Or do I need the other drill to break through that?
I can't break through that. But there is, like, a layer down here. But, oh, I can go this way, but not very far. Let's explore this a little. Okay, that opens up. Does this side open up any? Nope, so there's just a trench right here. Or it's, it's not even a trench, it's just a hole. Look at that. There's just a hole in the ground in the bedrock, if that's bedrock. But I'm, I might be able to drill through that with a harder drill, like the Mark II or so, like the um, heavy drill, maybe. I don't know how that works. Okay, <clears throat> that's something that we can't afford to Jetpack on. afford to uh, skimp on because it uh, bites you in the face. It likes biting you in the face. I wouldn't need to do it so often if I didn't keep my suit so cold, but keeping the suit cold um, makes it so you don't need as much water. So I'd rather trade off um, building up thermal uh, energy that I have to dump and heating the base up a tiny bit, well more than a tiny bit, than um, using more well, water. But I can't keep the base cold because I need to grow plants. Okay. Now, sometimes you will also get... Uh, uh, false positives. Like, if you saw there, it said that there was iron here. But I was actually standing on the iron. That's That sometimes happens with the glitch as well. The tool tip gets attached to your pointer. Sorry, I'm coughing and, and clearing my lungs a lot because I'm a little bit ill today. I made the mistake of shutting my uh, window fan off, even though it's like minus 20 degrees right now. I have to keep the window fan on all the time uh, because I am exceptionally... Ooh, iron. I am exceptionally allergic to um, molds and things. And, uh, this is a pretty old moldy building I'm living in now. <clears throat> and that's because, after being sick for a really long time and not knowing that I was allergic to mold, I have become, um, an impoverished goober. <laughs> and now, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody who, who's, um, under the poverty line. I am very much under the poverty line myself right now. <clears throat> Um, but, you know, making names and things like that helps me deal with the situation I'm in. <clears throat> and I live in Canada, and we're supposed to have the social safety net, and we don't. I paid my taxes um, uh, when I owned a business and when I worked, and I didn't complain about it, and I was happy to pay taxes because I thought if anything was to happen, I would have a social safety net to fall back on. I also had savings and um, very few investments, but some investments. And uh, I thought, yeah, this this would be a good thing. It is not a good thing. It is not a good thing at all. Uh, being sick, especially for so long, um, just totally sapped my savings. I have nothing anymore. I don't live in a nice apartment anymore. Um, I don't live like in the middle of uh, the experimental farm. That's where I used to live in, in, uh, in Ottawa. It's uh, like, it's like the experimental farm. Like, I don't even know how to explain the experimental farm to somebody who's not from uh, the Ottawa area because it's just, it's just a really weird thing. It's a huge farm in the middle of a metropolis and it grows crops for agricultural Please research, uh, but it also grows it, you know, I think that they also do sell it on the commercial market. I'm not 100% certain. 
Like, it's a really weird concept. It is. And, um... You, you can... Uh, it's, um... It's, it's hard to explain. It's super hard to explain. And I lived, like, uh, in one of the few buildings that was just about right in the middle of it. I was on three sides was the farm. I was in a, a high-rise that was... And I was on, like, the, the 18th or 19th floor or something. Jetpack and on. Jetpack on. It was one of the worst places that I lived. And I it was... I consider it one of the worst places I lived because... I guess when they built the building, they didn't build any expansion joints into the concrete. So uh, during winter, like when it got cold, the building would creak the hell out. And for some reason, lots of people were okay with that, but I certainly wasn't. I hated it. But it was a it was a it was a beautiful spot. It was a place that had a um, a swimming pool, an indoor heated swimming pool, twenty four seven, uh, three hundred and sixty. Uh, 365 days a year that I uh, never used, I never even visited, even though the the person who was showed me the uh, the rental agent that showed me the building, um, like used it to sell me on, and I I never went down there. And as far as I know, most people never went down there. Okay, this is probably what I did. I probably pumped this up. Twelve to do a swap in like Air that. Critical. Yeah, that's probably what I did. Put it back down to seventy five and go back out shopping. <clears throat> uh, it was in the same building with some local celebrities. Uh, I wasn't a celebrity. I'm not a celebrity. But it was nice. I remember a power went out. And uh, the local celebrity, one of the local celebrities was a... Hunger, caution. Um, a newscaster, a local newscaster, news anchor. And he had the news trucks there, like, within a few minutes. And that was great. I think they, I think he drove the rental agents nuts all the time with, you know, getting things done and so forth but I got sick and I lost that place and I had to move out and now I'm in the middle of a farm in the middle of several farmer fields but it's not as nice as it was before because the experimental farm they were very mindful of not making the place smell like, like cow shit or you know having um mold on their on their plants because you know you're in the middle of a of a city with hundreds of thousands of cars driving by every single day and people who would phone and complain so they kept the farm very sterile these are working farms these are farmers that go out in the field uh, maybe three times a year I think that's gold uh, no, that's copper. Three times in the year, and the rest of the time the, the field is just sitting out there to semi-rot until, like, they get something major on the uh, on the crops, and then they spray them with something, and then that ends up in the water supply. It's a really bad place to live out here. <clears throat> and if I don't make fun of it, I would um, be seriously angry all the time. Which I sort of am, most of the time. I am kind of, kind of pissed off on a regular basis. My new, ma my new favorite Hi, character in games is uh, Knifey from a High, um, High on Life because great would it be so great to stab people, you know. Like if death row was a thing in Canada. Be like, uh, can I volunteer to be the executioner, but, like, like just give me a knife? <clears throat> I think you should need some, that you need some uh, psychiatric evaluation. I would agree with you, but they don't do that kind of thing. So you're stuck with a, with a psychopath playing video games on the internet. 
How much of that is true and how much of that exa is exaggeration, I will leave that up to your own imagination. I would say um, it's only partially exaggeration. Okay, we seem to still have... I thought I saw iron right here. But we don't. And I'm having another waste tank caution moment. And oxygen is going to run out again. And I can't see the base. There it is. Tiny little twinkle of green off in the distance. <clears throat> now, I am hungry and I need to change my things here. Why is there... I saw thermal energy shifting this way. I don't know what that is. I may want to close the... Uh, the airlock when not in use. Oxygen critical. Light on. Oxygen is not critical. Don't uh, don't panic now. <clears throat> Air tank critical. Okay. Anything else? No. Nothing else. So we will throw our suit over here, and we got to make a suit rack eventually. Let's get this up and running. Did I? I think I did put uh, glass on the. The thing of blobbers. There. Aren't you happy? There you go. Everybody's overjoyed. Uh, let's eat. Let's go. <clears throat> Hydration critical. So yeah, I uh, I thought that I was going to rely on the safety net. I paid my taxes. When I owned a business, my tax rate was. Um, 41 percent, 41 percent, um, and, uh... Hydration critical. I just drank. How can it be critical? You're critical. That's what you are. Um, but it didn't turn out that way. I had to use up all of my... And I forgot to fix the furnace. I had to use up all of my savings. Thankfully, I didn't really have to sell much, but... I don't really own that really great thing. I'm kind of an I'm kind of an aesthetic ascetic. I kind of like living fair, fairly simple and uh and uh like non-extravagant life. It's not like I'm I've never never liked high-end food like what people would call like rich people food. I don't know what the hell you would call it. Like caviar, that that just seems friggin' gross to me. Like who would who would want to eat salty, slimy bubbles? Like it's not even the fact that it's fish eggs that's 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 gross. That's not the gross thing. I will eat anything. It's just that it's just salty bubbles. I can't eat tapioca. Who eats tapioca? Oh my god! I remember being in high school and in junior high school, and I had a friend who would have bring tapioca to school a lot, and it's like, oh god, why would you eat that? It's gross. <clears throat> no, no. I'm autistic. I the texture of things is super important to me. Super important. And touching or, or, or having something in my mouth that was that had a weird te texture to it. It doesn't matter what the taste is. I can choke anything down um, if I had to. If I'm hungry enough, except if it didn't have the right texture. And it's it's like if anybody who has that kind of reaction knows what i'm talking about when i say that the feeling kind of crawls down your 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 neck and down your arms to your hands and you just have this this creeped out creepy feeling when you touch it or you or or, or you or something and it's just you just have to get away get away from it i don't have fear reactions to things very high i have a very dull fear reaction but like, when people describe what fe fear feels like, I, that's what it seems like. Like, it seems like I'm having a fear reaction to those kind of textures, and I just can't deal with it. But besides that, I just... 
I don't live to eat. I, I buy things and I eat them to stay alive. I don't care. For the most part, I don't care what they taste like. I don't care what, how, what their nutritional value is. I'm just putting, I'm just shoving food down my gullet so I don't die. There are times when I'm, I'm doing work on my computer or something and I realize I'm hungry and I get up and I do my shuffle into the, into the, the kitchen and I said, hungry, gotta eat, gonna die. Like the same thing that you would say in a computer game because that's my mindset. I treat myself like I would a game character. I, I, I let my stats get really low before I put them up. Even drinking, I, ha I don't feel thirsty. I have to force myself to drink. I have a bottle, a um, nice stainless steel bottle, that's in my line of sight at all times. So I know when I look at it, it's like, I have to drink that. And I have to finish what's in it by this time. Like, I have to micromanage myself that time, because if I leave it up to myself, it will be two days before I drink anything, and I'll be sitting around and I'll be thinking, why do I have such a headache? Why do I feel so disgusting? Well, it's because I'm dehydrating. And it seems to be a family trait, because my mother has um, hospitalized herself on several occasions from lack of, um, lack of drinking properly, of lack of, of hydration. Maybe we just have a screwed up gene that says that doesn't tell us when we're thirsty. Although I'm the only one that doesn't have a um that's like not food craving. Although I am a compulsive eater. It, and it's it's if you have kids, don't make your kids finish whatever's on their plate. Let them eat until they're satisfied, until they don't want food anymore. Then let them walk away. Don't let them snack. I think snacking is probably one of the worst habits that that um, you can get, uh, that you can have as an adult. But I mean, I have European friends that say, you know, small meals all throughout the day, grazing constantly is the best thing. I don't know. There's, there's an argument to be made there. But I mean, like, <clears throat> if you are serving someone else, if you were, ser it's, even if it's a kid, you shouldn't make them eat the serving size because you can't really tell how much calories they need. And even they may not really be able to tell. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure if it wasn't part of like my, my psychology at birth, the, the compulsive eating thing was definitely instilled in me about not leaving the table until your, your plate was empty. So it doesn't matter how much is on my plate. It could be an absurd amount. I will eat the entire thing. And I will make, if I make myself food, if, like say if I make myself a hamburger helper, for instance, then I will eat the whole thing because I live alone and there's no one to share with and there's no single servings of that stuff. If I, if I make myself um, a pie or a cheesecake or something, if I make a full size, like a tin, a pie tin of it, I will eat the whole thing because it is there. And, you know, but I won't make that very often. You know what I mean? I'm not, it's not like I'm craving it. It's not like I'm going after calories. But if I, if something is made, if I make spaghetti, if I make um, um, a stir fry, if I make uh, a casserole, if I make something, I feel a compulsion to finish it. I don't like having leftovers in the fridge. And I don't know what that's from. I think it's just from the way that I was raised and not liking the concept of, of having food left behind. And we weren't real big on um, eating leftovers either. If we had leftovers in the pot, a lot of times it got thrown out. And even if it went into the fridge, it was only in the fridge for a few days and then it got, it got thrown out. My mother and my uh, grandmother were very concerned about food going bad if there was meat in the freezer and i mean a deep freezer that that never thawed out that was always solid as a brick if something was in there for more than three months six months especially if it went up to a year it was thrown out definitely thrown out like you could not convince them to buy a whole side of a cow and if you're vegetarian i'm sorry about talking about this that you have a legitimate argument there don't be a dick about it but i mean you have a legitimate case there i'm i will eat meat 
I'm sorry. Not to you, to the animal. I, I do have feelings for them, but we're talking about meat now, so, you know, try to try to bear with me. But you couldn't convince them to buy a whole side of an animal because it would sit in the it would sit in the freezer for several months, and uh, how are we a little cooler in here? I think we are. Um, it would sit in the freezer for several months, and the uh, uh, it would be thrown out. My 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 grandmother would be absolutely psychopathic and throw. She's never done this before, but I'm sure she would. She would throw like a thousand dollars worth of uh, beef out because uh, she would be convinced it would be bad because it was sitting there for like six months or eight months or something. It's uh, it is truly psychotic. So what are we gonna do here? I think we just gotta wait until we process this a little more and bring the temperature down. Oops, forgot to push the button. That I gotta automate. I gotta make that sure that clicks. I think I actually have a program for that. Do I? Um, I think I have something. Yes. So I do have a, a piece of automation that I wrote to, like, whenever there's something in there, um, to process it. Do I have enough to, th to print out another chip? Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I am going to get the iron ingot, get the iron ingot, get the iron ingot, and put it in here, put it in here, put it in here, and we will make a few more shoots. Shoots. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, you can tell that I'm feeling better from my uh, from my recent illness because I am super talkative. This is me healthy. I am I am a blabbermouth. And this will go down here. I want to kind of make this so that I can like just change one or two shoots and be able to route everything to one of the printers. Uh, I have that set up when they're in a line, which is like much easier to do. Uh oh, and I'd really like to have like a, a vending machine do this. Okay, so turn you on and eject you. And everything should go in there. Oh, uh, I don't want any more. I don't want any more. Thank you. And the remainder, let's put there and there and you down there. Cool, cool. And more cool. Oops, no, don't want to do that. <clears throat> so... Let's go for housing. And the... Move that. And remove that. And then it should freely just let it drop to the floor and bounce around. And when we want to change stuff, we can just, like, move two pieces around. Although there is the new switch. Uh, a redirector, which uh, may help considerably to make it flow back around so we can uh, that's what we wanted to do so we're going to put you here cool and now we want an ID 10 chip 10 I said 10 thank you that was uh, mighty nice of you to like not do what I told you to you were still out there we still got a trade with you or get rid of you or make some kind of decision with you. So what might be an option is that I uh, well I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep this this configuration. I don't like them stacked on top of one another. It's convenient in the beginning, but um it's just it's just not nice afterwards. So yeah we're gonna put that there. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to differentiate those two 
um, those two chips. I'm probably going to have to have a labeler. And I'm going to have to push that out. Uh, we got enough pressure, so I think I am going to push it out sooner rather than later. Uh, this wall, push the wall out. This, put uh, new walls up and disassemble it. This is not going to be the permanent place for this uh, hydroponics bay. It's going to have its own room eventually. So, let's... I think the best thing to, for this is to... No, that's not going to work because I can't... I can't... Um, Unless I put it around that way. So if I go up and then across there, that'll accept that. And then I can poop it out over here somewhere. Poop it out right here. Yeah, that's an idea. That's what we're going to do. Look at me having big brained ideas. My, my, my massive defective brain. Yeah. Let's sing the defective song. Now, can I get all the way across the top um, without meeting some invisible walls? Oh, is that an invisible wall? Uh, nope, that's not an invisible wall. I don't know why I'm doing this, because this is going to be deconstructed, like, as soon as possible. Can you point downwards, please? That is perfect. Oh, look at you. Aren't you amazing? Yes, you are! Look at this. Yes, 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 yes. Now we go up. And like that. Okay, now all of the... Uh, we need more. We need more! Emergency! We got one more. Okay, with this one more... We're going to try popping it out this way, which is not a good idea, because then we'll, we'll meet that, uh, that, uh, uh, brain freeze pipe. There we go. So let's do it like that. Cool. Oh, I know where there's more. There's more behind here. Now we're going to have a network behind here um, sometime in the new future and, and as opposed to the old future but for now let's just route it that way physically just so we can we can get all of our stuff in here in a complicated way without having to manually take it out because um, over-engineering is fun. Okay, there we go. Now, let's put this back up because that was a bad idea. And now this all should go into that printer. And it's not. Where is it getting stuck? Is it getting stuck right there? Critical. Yes, it is getting stuck right there. Why? Oh, because we have a we have a wrench in there. When did I stick my wrench in there? I didn't stick my wrench in there. Uh, we have a chute in there. Isn't that great? Light on. Uh, now we've got <laughs> now we've got a continuous loop of death here. The easiest way to solve this is just stick it in the bottom and let it cycle itself to the top. Oh, the absurd is fun. There. Now, all of that. Did it? 
get caught again? <laughs> like, what is it getting caught on? This is this is absurd. I'm gonna have to open this again. Uh, what is in there? It just it, what? It just got caught. Okay. Why doesn't it want to get in? Is there something there again? No, there's nothing there. So, I don't know why it doesn't want to... Yeah, this is weird. It's not wanting to accept anything no more. It's just... It's just glitched. It... No, the top's not exiting. What? Am I, like, hallucinating? Uh, those those uh, ingots were falling out of the top, weren't they? Okay, are you going to work now, or are you going to be, like, weird? You're going to be, like, weird. Okay, what if I put a... Ah, fine then. Be that way. What if I put a... Uh, an outlet on there? Like, I shouldn't need to put an outlet, but... Let's see, I put an outlet on there, are you going to work now? Or are you just going to be the dick, a dick for the rest of your life? Okay, I think it went in. Now, you shouldn't need an outlet, you should just, you should just need a, um, a bend, like... That should be not how that works. corner and that's in the right position right it's in the right position let's redo the top just in case but I doubt that it is okay cool let's just do a test I think it went in Yeah, it went in. I don't understand this game sometimes. <sighs> You're not consistent, you bastard. Oh. We didn't turn this on. Oh, I forgot. You want water. I forgot what we were talking about, too. I guess it doesn't matter. We were just bullshitting. Which is, like, one of my favorite activities. Let's talk about not nothing at all. Life would be boring if we, if we didn't talk about nothing. So, let's take this one off for now to just do this so that it pops out what we want. And what we want is a labeler. And we need iron. That's okay, we've got iron. High iron. Uh, okay, flaw found. It's not really a flaw. We will get around to fixing that eventually. Uh, we will have an inlet throw. That was a weak throw. There. And print. There we go. Now, is there anything else in the tools that we want? Uh, mining backpack. We're not out there long enough, so it doesn't matter. Marine uniform might be nice. Nice blackness. I can't really see my legs. Uh, mining belt, 
Night vision goggles, we don't care. Actually, that might be good outside, right? Yeah, let's get my night vision goggles. Uh, space helmet, tool belt, commander's uniform is useless. Uh, these glow sticks don't matter. Let's get an ore canister, uh, because we will want to fix terrain from time to time. Probably, nah, let's forget it. We won't fix terrain. We'll just cover it up with um, um, wall segments. Basket, igniter, flag, grinder, duct tape. Oh yeah, we need a duct tape. That was the whole point. Wasn't it? I think so. Mining drill, axe, plant sampler. No, we don't need to do that. Remote detonator, screwdriver, tracking beacon, welder, wire cutters. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we need some duct tape. And that will be it. And we'll have the night vision. Oh, wait a minute. This might be a problem. Let's put the helmet on. Oh, the night vision goes in the glasses, right? Yeah, there we go. Now that... Uh, so if I push... If I push Light L, on. that'll turn that off. But I don't have... I don't have batteries for the night vision goggles right just yet. So let's grab a battery. And let's turn the light off and turn night vision on. Isn't N for night vision? Cool. Now which one uses power faster? Oh shit! <laughs> I stopped paying attention! Oh man! That is not cool. Every time I make a move, it's going to flash? That is going to be nonsense. Total and absolute nonsense. Oh, that is... Oh, that is unpleasant. Oh, that is so unpleasant. I'm, I'm not flashing any lights, like, if I turn the night vision off, which should be key to N, but is not, and I pick them up, and then I throw them in here, like, there's no reason that the night Light vision on. should be flashing. Is it going to flash when I, when I, when I dig? That, this, this might be, this might be a no. This might be, like, a total... Screw you, I am never using this. Okay, so, that's everything out of him. Um, out of the tool printer that we wanted. And I completely uh, ran off the track, and I don't remember what we were doing, but does it really matter? Do people watch YouTube videos to learn how to play a game, or do they just... Do they watch YouTube videos to listen to somebody um, be weird? That's why I watch YouTube videos. Oops. Straight pipe, straight pipe. There we go. Oh, that's that was a mistake. <laughs> Okay, let's program, let's, okay, we have a labeler now, and we're going to label this one, hydro, for hydroponics, and this one we are going to label, um, That's not how you spell maintenance. Main ten. This is what you get for not being able to spell. <sighs> there you go. Okay, so let's start. Let's start labeling these things too. So let's turn the light off first. This will be. Um.
airlock exterior. Airlock interior. Oops, I forgot to put the brackets in there. That's not how you put brackets in. Uh, exterior. Airlock. Interior. Uh. Oh, yeah, you. You don't need to be alone up there anymore. Come and have a life with me. Yes. You will be appreciated for your gifts of telling what gases are in a room. Okay. Uh, airlock. And... This is the airlock power controller, but I doubt that I'm going to actually do anything with that. And uh, we don't need to do anything with that. I don't, yeah, I don't need to do anything with that either, because um, this will be replaced or controlled separately. It'll probably be replaced with an atmospheric unit that's just going to like steal oxygen from the room. I'll probably even remove this because the atmospheric uh, controllers have, um, uh, you're able to tell what the uh, output gas pressure is so that I can, I can control it from that. And let's, let's set up, let's set up our, our vent here. Cause um, we're, we're living like Neanderthals for a while. So airlock vent exterior, airlock sensor, Airlock vent. Did I not name this? Airlock internal. Uh, so where is this? Oh, that must be that vent over there. Oh, which reminds me. Must always be processing material. So, oops, missed. Uh, composite door exterior. Composite door interior. Uh, active uh, active vent interior. And are we? Is everything set up? Active vent. Okay, let's set the pressures to be zero all around, just so that the door opens after depressurization. And we're going to remove our disky disk disk, our diskette. See, I think diskettes were originally going to be the way that you programmed everything. And the reason I, I think that is because there are diskettes in these, um, on these vents. So I think the original thought was going to be, if you wanted to get these vents to do something automatically, you either left a diskette in there for the thing to do things automatically, or you put it in, the program would be uploaded or something. And there are two diskette slots on uh, on the computers that don't seem to do anything. But you can address them. So I think they were supposed to be more important than they became. I don't know why they, they let go of that or why they, they just stopped um, using it properly. Or not properly, but just stopped using it. Or just didn't use it. I don't know. Like... It just seems odd. I don't know. Oh, I need the um, the chip writer. Uh, chip writer. Here we go. Motherboard. Okay, and we get into the computer. Uh, no, go away. We need main. We'll clear the clear the clear the thing once I push the right goddamn button. Okay, and we will 
paste the code we already have and we won't we don't need some things on here so the station battery will leave in for now we'll start removing things that aren't hooked up furnace charge ratio or shoot I don't know why or shoot is in there uh, stationary battery recipe hash charge 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 I don't like that name or shoot I know what it's for it's for anything that's going into the um, uh, into the arc furnace but I would rather that be arc input or something I'll change that later. Export, export. Oop, I think it has to be on to do that, right? Export, export. Thank you. And... ID 1, or uh, device 1. Vent, arc, active, 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 area control, arc furnace, there we go. Huh? It's going to be something stupid, isn't it? 11, arc furnace, recipe hash, what's wrong with this? I've defined it, arc furnace, D1, what's your problem? Um, I was looking at the wrong one. Was I? No, I wasn't. Didn't I set that dark furnace? Composite, computer, oh. Uh, when it shortened, I looked at the wrong thing. You're, you don't even... Oh, you butthead. Make me look like a fool. There. Now will you please do what I asked you to do. Arc furnace. Thank you. Turn on. Thank you. Now, please. Automatically run. Thank you. So, what I am doing, because it doesn't seem like anybody's doing this. Um, they're actually pulling the, the slot or something. Uh, all I'm doing is that if whatever is in the thing uh, gives you a valid hash recipe, because it won't give you a valid hash recipe unless it's like uh, an ingot, then just do that. So if I put, like, a shoot in there, it's not going to want to run, I think. I don't know. I didn't really test it out. I just thought that the hash recipe was the easiest way to, to pull if that was... If that had stuff in it. Because the other things are not... Um, whatever. I should also put the vent on there, right? Maybe Yater. Okay, so where are we at? We are at... Still haven't fixed that. Uh, we've got our spaghetti maze over here. Nicely done. And I think we are just going to use valves um, to change which one it goes to. And we'll come back here and do that manually. I like these. Is there a decal on this one? Light on. No. That's interesting. There's a decal on them all except for the electronics printer. Light on. That's cool. I also have to reposition this so it's pointing the other way. But oxygen uh, critical. It is? No, it's not. I'm also sick, so I've got broken lung syndrome. Okay, uh, let's go mining again. I should also set this to turn off, but 
Whatever. Okay, close the door. No, 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 emergency override. Low pressure. Pressure critical. Hydration critical. Cognition low. Temperature critical. Come on, 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 come on. Pressure critical. Temperature critical. Come on, regain consciousness. No, my lungs are gone. My lungs are dead. No, no, don't kill me. Don't kill me, man. <laughs>